and of ultimate Pilates. And today I want to do a reformer workout, keeping it real, I like to say, or it's actually a beginner level program focused on your alignment and improving your spinal articulation. Okay, so as much as I love the reformer intensity work, I believe it's so important to build up your base, to strengthen uh, your foundation. And this type of work that I'm going to do today, you can do on the mat as well. So if you don't have a reformer, don't worry, you can join me for the beginning, most part of this workout. But what I would recommend is that you put some ankle weights on, or if you have a classical Pilates mat, fantastic, you have a strap you can put your feet under. We're going to use the reformer today to mimic the classical mat, which has lovely foot strap and it also has things you can hold on to. Okay. If you're on your reformer, you're going to place two red springs on. And we're going to start here. My foot bar is slightly down and my feet are tucked under with Velcro safety strap. Make it nice and tight. So if you're not on a reformer, even easier, come down onto your mat and come in nice and close here. If you're on the floor, reformer, even better because you can have your feet really down close to the floor. So pull yourself up. We're using the bar to help us. If you have a broomstick or something, hold on to that. Okay? And lift yourself up nice and tall to begin. Breathing in. So I, as much as I love reformer, I love mat pilates. And the classical work has really, for me, built up so much real strength. So let's try and build up some of that today to improve our spinal articulation. Take a deep breath in. Bend your elbows wide. And breathe deep laterally into your back, side, ribs. And feel your body up. Grow taller and peel out the flesh underneath your butt cheeks. So you're sitting up as tall as you can. Breathing in. And then we're going to exhale. We're going to come back. I'm holding on here. I'm going to move my hands underneath my thighs. Elbows higher than my shoulders. Breathing in. Expansion through your ribs. More. And then we're going to exhale. Get, make sure your ankles are in your strap or your ankle weight's on. Or both like me. And we're going to curl back. Exhale. Pull your pelvis under you. You're coming back just to your tailbone, a little bit fuller, let's keep your tongue in, but keep your arms here, elbows high. That's about enough. We're going to take some more belly breaths here. Breathing in, expand your tummy, exhale, draw it in, magnetize your stomach to the back of your body. Again, breathing in, exhale, deep in your C curve, one more time. Breathing in, exhale, deeper. Curl back up, but pull your waist back, pull your ribs back to pull yourself, whew, I'm getting a shake on, all the way up. Okay, so you're getting out of your neck, we're using our really deep core muscles. Bring your hands to your foot bar, lift yourself up or hold you onto your pole, break your pole apart, break your bar apart here. Deep breath in, can you grow taller? Can you move your hands, put your pole down? Under the back of your knees, widen your elbows. Breathe deeper, expand into your side waist, and let's go. Exhale, curl. Make sure you're further enough forward now, you're a former, that you're not going to bang into your shoulder rest. Let's go a bit deeper now. Roll off your sitting bones, pull your pelvis back, scoop your tummy. We want to try and articulate one bone at a time from the bottom up. So try not to let your chest fall back. Keep holding yourself all the way, placing your spine down one at a time, smoothly, and relax down. Now the tough part, getting back up, stay in a nice neutral spine, hip bones heavy, pubic bone, tailbone in opposition, wrapping the ribs in, arms up. Come into your breath as much as you can, breathing in. Deeper, chin to chest, don't swing your arms, we're just rolling up to the base of your shoulders. We're going to take eight pulses here, breathing in. And back. I'm not pulsing my neck. I'm trying to improve the flexion. I'm trying to get those ribs, top ribs, which I am really weak at. I used to be, I've improved a lot with my scoliosis. 
pull those ribs under your breastbone. That's all I'm doing. So I'm not feeling tension here. If you're not sure, bring your hand here. No tension in my neck. I'm trying to improve that bend in my spine under my ribs. Last one. And curl up further. Make sure you got your strap. Hold on to the back of your legs again. Pull up to the back of your ribs. Scoop your tummy in. Not the most flattering position for our tummies, I know. Curl it. Eight times from here. I'm at the base of my ribs. Don't pull your neck. Relax. It loves to work on a scoop. Try and bend in here, in your rib cage. More bending. Not your neck. I have to keep reminding myself as well. Two more. Little pulses here. And then come further. Come up to your waistline. Get those ribs up. Pull your lower tummy back. And pulse from here. Keep your waistline down. Woo. Three more. Two more, no neck as well. And then all the way up, pull your waistline back. Even deeper, fantastic. Okay, next level is no hands. It feels nice already. No cheating, guys, pull the flesh out. Sit up nice and tall. If you've got a ball, you can even position it between your legs. Arms out long, feet underneath your strap or weights on. Make sure you've got space behind you. Grow taller is very important. No sinking, scoop your tummy back. Place your hands on an imaginary table and curl your pelvis back. Scooping. Scooping. How slow can you go? One vertebra at a time. Fantastic. And again, no momentum. Did you see that? Pull your chin into your throat. Draw your ribs back. Deepen your breath. Chin to chest. Curling, look between your legs, slowly. You've got the strap to help you. Bend your breastbone. Curl more, pull your lower tummy back. Woo. Try not to move your carriage and sit up tall. Fantastic, nice work guys. One more time. Deep breath in, grow taller. Place your hand on the top of your head now. Push your head up to meet your hands. Lift your arms to the ceiling, advance, more advanced position from here. Keep reaching up to go back, finding length in the side body, back body, waistline, and curl. Ooh. Slowly, don't fall back. Reach up, round your upper back and pick it up more. Curl, 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 fantastic. One more time. The deep breath in, curling up. Don't move your arms. Keep them by your ears the entire time. Woo, awesome job. Where are my straps? I should have had them on. Get your, if you're on the floor, you don't need straps. We're going to do hundreds. You guys are on the floor, we'll do hundreds without straps. We're going to use the straps. Similar concept. Come back down now. And we're rolling back. Woo. You can take your feet out of here now and just curl back. Pick your straps up or keep your arms up straight to the ceiling. Place your hands in your hand straps if you have them. Straighten your legs up to the ceiling. Now I did say beginner, didn't I? So let's keep it bent. <laughs> Remember where you just curl from, okay? I want that bending of your rib cage over, not your neck, so you don't feel that neck as much. Come deeper into your breathing. Let's do bent legs, so I did say beginner. Pull your uh, ribs down and curl up. Strong up. Arms are six inches high. Can we get the legs up, pulling the pelvis down? Let's pump. Exhale. Shh. No movement in the carriage. Breathing in. Can you stretch your pinky fingers out and reach further? Breathing in for five deeply. Exhaling out, pull the tummy down. Shh. Keep that stillness. Can you curl up? This is so tough for me to get that bend in my upper rib cage from the shape of my spine. Okay, it's really tough. If you want more of a challenge, take your legs further down, but make sure you're using your stomach. Stretch your energy out of your head. Try and get the back of your ribs up to the ceiling. Breathing in deeper and we exhale. Pull the tummy down. Squeeze everything in tight. Breathing in and exhale. Keep curling up more. Breathing in without using that neck. That's always the hard thing, guys. This is a bit of a light spring as well. I probably should have put another one on, but it's a beginner and I didn't want you to strain your neck. Deep in your breath. Last one. 
and bend your knees in and relax down. So you can do this exact same work, remember, without your reformer. We're doing coordination now, which I love for improving that flexion as well. Elbows down by your side, fingers up, shin tucked in. Curling, curling, curling. Scoop up, draw your shoulders. Stretch everything out. Open, close your legs. Pull your knees into your nose and try and pull your nose to reach your knees more. Then bend your elbows. Again, deep and deep in that curl on your upper abdominals. Stretch, open, close, pull, squeeze and tighten. And then come back down, two more. Stretch, open, close, pull, tight. And release, one more time. Stretch, open, close, pull, curl, curl, curl. And release down. Nice job, guys. Put your straps back down to the side, onto the floor. Stretch your leg out. If you're on a mat, you're doing single leg circles. Here we're going to do it on the reformer. I've got my left foot on the bar, and my left foot down on the floor. And I'm going to lift that left heel up and then straighten it down. Bend your knee. And then level one, we do bent leg version. We cross the knee over. So if you're on the reformer, pull your left foot into the center of the bar. So it's right in line with the center of your spine. And then cross the knee over, not too far. You've got to keep that hip down to start. And then come down and around and up. There's no shift in my pelvis. Down and around and up, keeping that stability to start. If this is fine, if you kind of get that, straighten the leg out, keep it in external rotation, keep going. Start small, just here. If that's fine, there's no movement, let's go again. And then reverse it. Choose your option, knee, circles, no movement through knee. Or leg. Just put a couple in each direction. Or we can go quite big. Reach that foot out. Cross center, pull in. Awesome, same leg guys, keep the foot position. You're just going to take the leg all the way over for the follow hip through. Okay, so keep the hip down as far as you can. When it can't stay down anymore, intentionally lift it up. So you lift your butt up, your hip up, your waist up. Keep your shoulder down. Let's hold on to the shoulder rest now. And twist inside your spine. It feels so nice. And then intentionally place your ribs back down, your waist, bum, and open up. Okay, and again, cross it over the midline of your body and lift. Just go as far as you can. Try not to lift it up. Then lift your hip up. Lift your waist. Lift your ribs. And then place it all back down. One more time. Cross the leg over. Keep the hips down as long as you can. And then lift the hip up. Lift the waist up. Lift the rib cage up. And then coming back, pull your ribs, waist, hip. Awesome job, change sides. So you're straightening this leg, move your right leg to the center of the bar or the center of the floor. Knee above your hip, scoop out that tummy. Single leg hip circle. And around. Massaging here, improving our stability as well. Whenever you can, if you're able to, externally rotate it, cross it all the way across the straight leg. Start small, and if you're feeling like you can keep your frame here, then you can go bigger. Change directions, bend. Don't cheat yourself. You have your own reformer if you're doing this video, hopefully. So take the time to really improve these foundation things. Honestly, it made the world a difference for me. And I, I find that the classical Pilates is not as boring as some of the uh, simple contemporary work. So try and Stick within the system if you're doing this type of work, but break it down for yourself so you understand it. And then come back to center, and then cross over from your center belly. Okay, keep the hip down when it can't stay down anymore. Lift the hip, lift the waist, lift the ribs, and then place your ribs down, waist down, hip down, and open. Don't move here. Again. Cross it across as far as you can. Hip down, lift hip, lift waist, lift ribs and stretch. Keep shoulders down and then ribs, waist, hips. Awesome job guys, come back in, come up. 
in your roll up, of course. Roll it up, <laughs> chin to chest. Hold on to your leg if you need to, or wrap your legs over. Curling without anything, all the way up. Fantastic. Let's come over onto our short box. So if you can still do this, I'm trying to keep it so it's mat and reformer friendly. If uh, you're doing mat pilates with us now, fine. You can maybe, I'm just thinking, yeah, just sit on the floor. Just sit on the floor. I'm going to put the uh, former box and short box. I'm not sticking traditionally to the way I'm focusing on just spine articulation. I'm placing it over the shoulder rest here, and then I'm sitting on it. Shouldn't move too much because you've got those two reds, but if you're worried, add an extra spring on just to be sure. Get your feet in your safety strap, of course. So you should be a long way. Now, I'm pretty tall, so this may be too long for you. If it is, put your box in front of your um, shoulder rest, okay? Sit up nice and tall. Place your hands on top of your head. Breathing in. Just breathe here and then press back in one straight line. And come up. Grow taller. Find that front to back body connection. That's what our goal is with this one. Fire under your seat. Front to back body connection and hinge straight back in one line, shin pulling in and coming up. Nice job. Arms out to the side now. A bit of spine stretch forward. So sorry guys, I'm really doing some mat pilates on here today. But I like the lift on the box, okay? Bring your hands by your side. Deep breath in and curl. Pull your lower tummy back and stretch your hands forward. Arms and hands facing each other. Reach your hands to your feet, but pull your lower tummy back. And then restack like you're pulling your back against an imaginary wall. One vertebra at a time. It's not a big fancy movement, but oh, it's so good spine stretch forward. Deep breath in, grow taller. Pump up, pump up, grow taller. And then shin to chest, curl. You're rolling off that imaginary wall. You're pulling your ribs front ribs back under your breastbone, pulling the pelvis back. There's no movement here. Keep stretching forward and stretching back. Our famous two-way stretch pull, stretch further, and then re-stack your spine from the bottom up. Fantastic. Okay, arms out to the side. Breathing in, turn over. So we're going to twist now, like we're going to do sore. Sore. Twist to the right. Excellent. Bring your hands behind your head now. Take a deep breath in and bring your left elbow to your left knee, side bending. Ooh, get that deep side bend without shifting off your hips. Stay weighted on both hips. Good. And then stay in your twist. Stay in your twist. Pull this rib back under. Come back up. I'm still in my twist. And then I'm going to dive my head down to my right knee. Pulling my ribs back and under me. And then come back up, restack, and center. Okay, to the left now. So my hips are not moving, they're staying around and even weight on both of your back of your hips. Close your eyes if you need to. Okay, let's twist over from the breastbone over to the left side of your leg. Take a deep breath in, stay to the left with your chest. And then reach your right elbow to your right knee. Side bend that direction. Stay even on your hip bones. Pull your ribs back under you. Still on your hips. And then roll back up. And then dive chin to chest. Dive down to your left knee. All the way down. Roll back up. And recenter. Fantastic. One more time. Turn your chest to the right, hip bones don't move. Your whole waistline turns a little bit further this time. Get that back elbow further back. Get that right elbow back. Take the left elbow down to the left knee. Stay even on your sit bones. Scoot that rib under you. And then come back up. Stay twisted, stay twisted and curl down. Curl down all the way to your right knee. Roll back up. Excellent job. And come center. Okay, let's turn to the left side of the chest. Stay lifted. Deep breath in. And then bring your right elbow down to your right knee. And come back up. Stay in your twist. 
twist and then dive down. So spine stretch forward again. And dive back up. Awesome job, guys. Come back to center. Roll your shoulders out. I won't do any of the traditional stuff because I did want to keep it friendly for people on the mat. Um, so we're just going to come off here. It's a very short series today. We are getting your nice alignment and helping to improve your spinal articulation. Which if you want to do real Pilates, you need that. Okay, mermaid position here. Springs down just to one blue. If, yeah, if you don't, if you're not on your reformer now, this is the only exercise now. It's a little bit trickier to do. Okay, it's not really. Keep your hands on the floor if you're on the mat. Try and keep your uh, pelvis nice and square and down. Hand forward of your arm. Take a deep breath in. Stretching over all the way here. And we're going to thread around. Do that little thread the needle. Keeping the carriage still. Look behind you. Wrap your ribs under you. Coming back. And lifting all the way up. Again, breathing in. Let's open up. Think about lifting up this underside and stretching open your intercostal muscles. Breathing in. Breathe into it. Rotate around. Wrap your ribs. Squeeze out your belly. Come back. And open. Take your hand off. I've got a little hole here. Or hold onto your shoulder rest. Pull yourself up and over. Breathing here. Keep lifting though. Remember, we don't want to collapse. We love to bend our spines and articulate them, but we need to do it from a lifted position. So don't do this type of thing. Stay up. Good. And then we're just going to do a rotation now with both hands. So we're coming back. Rotate around. Get both hands onto the bar. Stretch longer. Breathing in. Even weight in both hands. And then you're pulling your chest up and forward. Pull your chin in and think about lifting your sternum up, the front of this chest, this chest bone here, up all the way, all the way to close, keeping your arms fairly straight. And then as you go back and you pick up your tummy, lift up your abdominals, don't just fall back there, lift up to go back, stretch back, and one more time, coming back, lift up. Pull the chin in and lift your sternum up high. Oh, one of my favorite all-time ones. I think anyone with scoliosis like me, we can't do this. And it really does improve. If I try and do this on most days, the difference, I couldn't even get my arm around in the beginning, has been phenomenal. So stick with it. It really opens things up in the spine. Let's turn around and do it on the other side. Mermaid position. So my front knee is bent. Hands on, sitting up nice and tall, hand forward of my shoulder. Breathe in, get your breath into your body. Breathe deeper, come into your body. And then thread your needle through, keep the carriage still. Coming back. And then come back up. And then let's come back. Breathe in, thread down. Come back. This time we come up, we'll hold on to the shoulder rest or the gap here. Lift yourself up and over. And back to center. Coming up all the way, come over. Thread around, let's get both hands onto the carriage. You can lift that back hip up. Even way on both hands, stretch back, pull up your stomach. Lift your belly to go back. And then drop your shoulders, keep your arms fairly straight, look up. Lift up, try and stay square. Keep reaching that sternum up, bending over, and come back. Breathe, and then exhale. Lifting up. One more time. Breathing in, stretch all the way back, and then open up. Lift your chest through your arms. And wrap your legs around. You are done. Uh, thank you so much for joining. Really, I feel that this foundation work is so important. So I'm going to try and build on this. I love using the spine corrector, but I also think we need to find it for ourselves. So I'll build a new series on this. There'll be more and more to come. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.